Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Yeah, yo, hey, hey. Ain't no weapons formed against me, gonna prosper. No Plenty of angels round me, packing like some mobsters. What's not real? God not real. You don't believe God is real? Why that? It's a story. You don't say it. Well, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Give me Romans 1 and, and give me verse 17, verse 18. Let me show you. I believe it's real. The white man. No, the white man gave you the lies. Christmas, the white man give you. Sunday worship, the white man give you. But you see the Bible, sister? Let me show you something. Yeah, let me show you something. How do you know if God is real? Let me show you something. You know how I know God is real? Simple reason. Let me show you this. You see, when I look at the bus, I know the bus of a maker. When I look at your basket, the, the bag have a maker. There is no creation without a creator. So watch this. Let me show you something. Give me Romans 1. Give me Romans 1. What do I need? Verse 18 or 28. Which one? Catch me up. And give me Hebrews chapter 3. And give me Hebrews 3 and 4. Let me show you how we know God is real. Right? Let me, sh let me show you, sister. You find it, brother? Romans 1. Yeah, Romans 1. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, read that. Read that for me. Romans chapter 1 and verse 18. Listen to this, my sister. For the wrath of God is revealed uh -huh. from heaven against all ungodliness. God is revealed wrath against ungodliness. Sin. Listen how God is real. Watch this. Let me show you. Man. Give me the next two verses. What invisible things? All right. If he's real, tell him to bring your dad back. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold up, hold up. It's a good question. Watch this. Real. I'm going to prove that God is real. Real. Read, read, But the wrath of God is revealed. I know you're hurting, sister, because your father has died and I sympathize with you. But guess what? It, God is still real. God created man. God gave life. And he, if you want to take it, he can take it. It's his. All soul is his. Let me show you this. Read. Read that for me. Look the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Against all ungodliness. Read. And unrighteousness of men. And wickedness of men. Read. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. People hold the truth of God in lies, in unrighteousness. Read. Because that which be may be known of God Come on. is manifest in them. Is manifest in them. The things that are known of God is manifest in you. Believe it or not, your DNA screams God. Your DNA screams God. Deoxyribonucleic acid screams God. You understand? Read. 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 Watch this. Read, my sister. Read. Because, because on. that which may be known of God Come is manifest in them. It's shown in you. Everything, the proof that God exists is your makeup, it's your DNA. Watch this. Read. For God has shown it unto them. For God has shown himself unto you, sister. Read. For the invisible things of him. Watch this. This is how you know God is real. For the invisible things of God, the things that you can't see, read, from the creation of the world, from the creation of the world, are clearly seen, are clearly seen, being understood, being understood, come on, by the things that are made, by the things that are made, so if you want to know if God exists, you're going to look at everything that is made, look at the trees, look at the birds, look at you, look at the birds, look at every God created nature sister, that's the point. You've just proven God because there is no nature without the creator system. Everything else is false. That the creation is showing that God exists. Watch this, read, read. Watch this, read. Come on. For the visible things of him come on. from the creation of the world are clearly seen. It is clearly seen. God, God is seen in his creation. Being understood, listen, sister, listen, man. Listen, being understood. I know you heard it. Listen, read. Being understood, come being on. understood by the things that are made. Come on. Even in his eternal power. Even God's power is seen by the things that are made. And why? Because why? When you look at the governments of the earth, sister, there is a government because there is a government in the heaven. When you look at legislature and laws, it's on the earth because there is laws in the heaven. Everything is in the heaven is on the earth. That's what God is saying. Earth is a reflection of the heavens. What should God says? Read. 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 Is eternal power and Godhead. Is eternal power and Godhead. So if you want to this, if you want to see God's power, look at look at how the earth is set up. Look at the governments of the earth. Look at the kingdoms of the earth. Hebrews 3 and 4. Win where? 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 Being weird, sister. Let me show you this. Hebrews 4. Read. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 4. Sister, listen to this. Read. For every house is built. This. For every house, read, is built by some man. If you look at the bank, somebody built the bank. Somebody made the bus. Somebody made the cars. Somebody made this. Every house is built by some man, read. But he that built all things. But he that made all things, read, is God. Is who? Is God. God exists. Psalm 53 and verse. 
get the mind process. Who did it? Huh? If God did it, sister. God did it. Watch this. Read. Let me show you something. Read. Psalm 53 and verse 1. You know what DNA means? Deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxy is Deus for God. Science. Come on, let's go. Huh? is Deus for God. Your DNA says there is a God. Deoxy, ribo. Ribo is rabbi, teacher. Nucleic is nucleus. Fire. I mean center. Nucleus is center. Acid is fire. God is a living fire. Your DNA is saying that God is at the center of your being. Yes! God said him so. But that's why we're bringing the truth. Don't worry about the devil. Just do truth. Do right. Watch what God says. Read Psalm 53 and 1. Listen, sister. Listen to the Bible. Listen, Psalm listen. chapter 53 and verse 1. Listen, everybody. Read. The fool has said in his heart. The foolish man, the foolish woman, have said in his mind, resolve in his mind. Read. Never. No, listen. I'm reading the Bible. Pull the prophet. Wear it. Sister, I pray that you come out of ignorance. My lovely sister, I feel for you because I know you are grieving over the loss of your loved one. But guess what? If, you're, if your loved one, hold up, if your loved one is in the spirit of the Most High, if he's dead, God is going to raise them back up again. That's right. There is a resurrection from the dead for the righteous. You understand? All men will live again. There is a resurrection of the, of the just and a resurrection of the unjust. Don't worry about death. God is going to bring back the bones again. God is going to bring flesh back up into your loved one. Right? You must keep God's commandments and live. That's what God says. Read it from Psalm 53 and verse 1. Psalm 53 and verse 1. The word, the word is life. Read. The fool has said in his heart. The fool has resolved in his mind. Read. There is no God. They say there is no God. Yes, my sister. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Give me John 11, brother, please. Uh -huh. I used to be like this. Yeah. You used to be like this and wear fringes? Yes. Then sister return. Yes. Sure God I'm might not give you another chance. Sure you're, and, and, and you're against the path because you're hurt. If you see you're hurt, didn't Christ die? Sister, did Christ die? The Bible said Christ died. Is Moses dead? Yes. Is David dead? Yes. But they will live again. That is not the end. No, it's not real in your mind. And even you talking to me, tell me that it's real. It's because you're hurt. You're broken. You need healing, sister. Yes, man. You need healing. You need healing, my sister. There is no freedom in this dark world. There is only freedom in the Messiah. There is freedom in the scriptures. Right, let me show you something, sister. Read. Read up for me. What did I say? John 11, brother. Come on. I am the resurrection. I want to show sister something, yeah? Let me read it something, please, right? Read. Verse 11. Read. John chapter 11. Verse 11. So there is a resurrection from the dead for the righteous. Right? Even for the unrighteous. Don't think because you're wicked you're not going to live again. You're going to live. God is going to bring you back up from the grave. God is going to command your spirit back into your body. Read. John 11 verse 11. And he's going to receive the deeds done in your body. Read. These things said he. Listen, sister. These things said he, the Christ. Watch this. My lovely sister. Listen, man. Listen. Read. When the Bible read, then I listen to you. When the Bible finish, I listen. Read. John 11 verse 11. Read. These things said he. These things said God. Read. And, and I'll show you. It's on the fly. You can get one. See it. Hold on, my sister. Here it is. Come on, come on, get, get, get back, my brother. You leave me. Right? Read it from it. These things, these things said he. These things said he. Read. And after that, he said, Sister, listen. Sister, I beg, listen. I beg. Ah. Listen, listen. Yeah, man. My brother, take a flight. Call us, man. All right, come, come learn. All right, watch this. Read. These things said he. Read. These things said he. Come on. And after that, he said unto them, he said unto them, our friend Lazarus sleeping. Lazarus sleep. Lazarus is dead. Right? Read. But I go. I go that I may awake him out of sleep. God is going to raise you. Yes. We are Lazarus. Right? Read. Then said his disciples, Come on. Look, if he sleep, mm. he shall do well. Come on. How be it Jesus spake of his death? All right, go down to verse 22 for me, please. All right, read. Verse 22. But I'm going to show you, man. Read. Listen to this, sister. Listen one. Listen to this, read. But I know, I know that even now, uh -huh. whatsoever, Come whatsoever on. thou wouldst ask of God, Come on. God will give it thee. Verse 22, right? Jesus saith unto her, uh -huh. 
They broke us, so right now. I need us to read verse 22. John 11, verse 22. I know. Are that's where we read it? Ah, read verse 23 for me. Listen. Listen, family. Listen, don't get distracted. Don't worry about it. John 11, verse 23. Read. Jesus saith unto her. Jesus said that unto Martha. Read. Thy brother shall rise again. Thy brother that is dead shall rise again. Read. Yes. Martha, Martha saith unto him. What did Martha say? I know that he shall rise again. She knew of the resurrection from the dead. Read. In the resurrection at the last day. At the what? At the resurrection at the last day. There was a last day of resurrection coming, the seven trumpet. God is gonna God is gonna call all dead back to life. Yes! Watch this. Jesus said unto her. Jesus said unto her, watch what's gonna happen to your mother and your father. Well, this is what's gonna happen to your sisters. Watch this, read. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. The resurrection is Christ. He can raise back up your parents again. Watch this, read. And the life. But hold up, hold up. But you must wait, sister, for the last day. Just like you would wait for a bus. It doesn't matter how much you want the bus to come. The bus is going to come when the bus comes. So it is Christ going to come when the Father sends him. Yes! Watch this. Uh, my mom died 25 years. 25 years. Waiting for Jesus to come. Yeah, he said, wait, sister. Wait. Second Peter 3 and 9. Christ is the resurrection. Sister, what you've lost is patience. Yeah, man, patience waiting upon Christ. You've yes. lost patience, sister. You've lost patience. But guess what? There's mercy with the Almighty, sister. That's right. Sister, look at me. There's mercy. He can heal your sister. So you can come back in your mind to the scriptures. Second Peter 3 and 9. Watch what God says. Watch your sister. My regular sister. Watch this. I love you, sister. I love you. Watch this. Read. Second Peter 3 and verse 9. Watch what God says. Read. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Anything God prophesies, sister, anything he promised, is gonna come. He's not slack concerning his promise. If he says there is a resurrection, there is a resurrection. If he says the dead is gonna come back, the dead is gonna come back. He's gonna raise back up your loved ones. Read. As some men count slackness, he don't count slackness. He don't deal with slackness as men do. Read. But this long suffering, God is what? Long suffering. God is what? Long suffering. It seems like he's doing this a long time. Read. To us what? To us what? He's long suffering to us. Read. Not willing that any should what? perish. The reason why it seems as if it's taking forever is because God don't want us to perish. He's given us the chance to get ourselves together. To come back and keep his commandments. Yeah, man. Watch this. Read. Watch this. Let me show you something. Read. That all should come to repentance. God, the reason he's given us time is because he wants us to repent. To repent is to stop breaking his laws. Because we are the Israelites. Yes. So God yes. says, listen, I need you to come back to me. Therefore, God is allowing time so that yes. we don't get destroyed. Yes. That is why it seems as if it, God is not coming, but yet he is. It's because he's merciful and long-suffering. Yes. Watch this, read. Come on, brother. My sister, reach out. Reach out, my sister, all right? Don't suffer, sister. Come reason, all right? Ring the number. I'm expecting, what's your name, sister? What's your name? What's your name? Kanuka. We, we sister, we're going to turn it back into Sister Kanuka. To the spirit and power of the Most High. You understand? You're going to put back on Christ, sister. And be comforted through the scriptures. 